Hi everyone, so today is going to be my kind of updated skincare routine. It's just going to focus on my evening skincare routine and then hopefully next week I will put up an updated morning skincare routine. So first up I just want to apologise for just the complete lack of videos over the past few months. So it's all been a little bit hectic and something has had to give and unfortunately for a little while that was my YouTube channel. But I have brand new kind of ideas, videos, and um, trying to be a little bit more organised with my time and so hopefully I will be able to get filming a little bit more frequently, get up a bit of a routine and a bit of a normal schedule. So first up obviously is cleansing and I'm a massive fan of doing a double cleanse even on days when I really haven't worn a lot of makeup um, or if I haven't worn any makeup I always make sure that I double cleanse. So the first few products are products that I use kind of initially when I start cleansing um, and I tend to either use Bioderma and this is the Sebium H2O version which is basically the same as the original, the Kraline H2O um, micellar water. The only difference is that this kind of limits the amount of sebum that your skin produces. So if, like me, you have blemish prone skin um, or oily skin, my skin's kind of a combination, but you know, I work this into my routine anyway because it does help so much with blemishes. Um, I would really, really recommend that. And I've just put a review of that up on my blog, so I will link that down below. Um, so I either use that, or if I'm wearing a little bit more makeup, I will use the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. And this is like a two-part two formula, um, and you kind of shake it up, pop it on a cotton pad, and just literally wipe away everything, pretty much. It just it works in the same way as Bioderma, in that it just dissolves everything. Um, but I just feel like this does a slightly more thorough job, and I feel like... The ingredients in this just benefit me a little bit more. After that I will go in with my second cleanse and this is kind of to really really sort of clean the skin um, and to kind of pack in as much kind of moisture as well as possible. Um, for that I use the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm um, which obviously goes with the makeup remover. Um, this product is amazing, I rave about it all the time on my blog, like literally I think people are really really fed up with hearing about it by now, but it's just amazing, it's the most gentle cleanser I've ever used and it actually makes my skin feel hydrated and plumped and I don't think I've ever 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 come across a cleanser before that does that. So my skin has really really calmed down since I've been using this. I can't recommend it enough. I think it's like £21 for a pretty massive tub um, and you know it lasts forever. Just as a quick rundown of a few of the kind of treatments and masks that I will use after I've cleansed my skin. Um, I'm loving still the Sanctuary 5 Minute Thermal Detox Mask. For me, in the clay based mask you really really don't need to go and spend ridiculous amounts of money. I might kind of contradict saying that later on in the video. but um, And this is just amazing. It warms up on the skin. I'd say I use it probably once a fortnight. I don't use it sort of all that often. I just use it when my skin's feeling particularly congested. And it just kind of clears everything up, draws out impurities if that's what your skin needs you to do. Additionally, I use the Origins Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask. It just dries up any kind of excess oil without drying the skin out completely. Um, it really, really helps with spots, with blemishes and stuff like that. And it's really, really amazing. I would completely recommend Origins Skincare in general. I think this is... Oh no, I have one other Origins product to talk about. <laughs> I was going to say it's a bit strange that I've only got sort of this one because Origins are one of those brands that are kind of massively in my skincare routine and I really really love them. And secondly, the treatment that I kind of went for to show you today is the Micro Delivery Peel. Um, it's a two step treatment and it's by Philosophy. You're supposed to use it sort of once a week, I'd say I use it um, maybe like once a fortnight again. It's quite harsh but it just makes your skin look so radiant. This is like a sort of exfoliating scrub, I suppose. It smells gorgeous. It's like a citrusy smell. Um, you literally rub that into the skin. It's packed full of vitamin C, which obviously helps radiance no end. And then after a minute of applying that, you then pop the 
salicylic acid. Now I've probably said that completely wrong. But you pop the kind of acidy part over the top um, which creates like a white foam. You then leave that for a few minutes and rinse it off. And for me, my skin is just left feeling completely baby soft. It takes off that kind of top layer of dead skin and just really exfoliates really well. And also the salicylic, the salicylic acid um, put over the top also helps to deliver the vitamin C right down into the skin. So I will find that my skin is particularly radiant and soft and glowing after I've used this. So once all that's done, I will then go in with a toner. And at the moment, I'm just using the Formula Skincare Daily Care Gentle Toner, which is from M&S. And I think it costs about £3.50. Um, for a long time, I didn't use toner. I didn't really see the point in toner. But Caroline Hirons has kind of influenced me and I kind of thought right I've got to get my hands on one this is so cheap and it does the job essentially it's on fragrance it's alcohol free so it won't dry out the skin like a lot of toners do even the more kind of high-end toners often contain quite a lot of alcohol um, which just does not agree with my skin whatsoever it just kind of balances the skin out and prepares it for what I use after which is sort of treatments serums and anything that I use pre-moisturise so I tend to either use the La Roche-Posay F-Clar Duo or the La Roche-Posay F-Clar K. I take it in turns. I think the Duo, the Duo admittedly works better for my skin, if I'm honest. Um, so I try to use this as much as I can. At the moment I'm kind of squeezing the last bit out of, sort of three bottles. Um, so I really, really need to go and get a new one. Nothing has made a difference to my skin in the same way that f -Clar Duo has. I absolutely love it. Um, and then sometimes I will use the f -Clar K from the same range. And this is re Renovating Care for Oily Skin Anti-Relapse. So it kind of controls the oil in the skin and just kind of stops any spots coming back once you have got rid of them. Some nights I will also add in the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. Um, I still haven't got the sort of Advanced Night Repair 2 because this bottle has just lasted me absolutely ages. It is on its last legs at the moment and I'm kind of umming and ahhing. Um, I might repurchase it kind of after Christmas at the moment. I don't really have the money to, to go and repurchase it because it is quite expensive but I definitely still want it to be part of my skincare routine. I will then just moisturise my skin. Um, at the moment I'm using the Clinique Repair Wear Uplifting SPF 15. Admittedly this is probably more of a day cream and um, considering it's got SPF in it but I find that it works brilliantly overnight. It's like a firming cream for sort of combination skin. Admittedly I'm 20 years old, my skin isn't too saggy, isn't too wrinkly at the moment but you can never start too early and I just think that it just works really really well at adding moisture and keeping the skin kind of supple and soft and firm essentially. I am kind of after like a richer um, night cream to use over winter but I'm kind of undecided on what I want to get so far um, so for the moment this is doing the job just fine um, and then lastly some nights kind of I'd say two or three times a week I will apply sort of a mask um, as like an overnight treatment just if I feel my skin needs it and I usually just kind of target it to those areas that I feel need that specific treatment. So at the moment I'm using the Origins Drink Up Intensive which has been like a staple in my skincare routine for a good few months now and um, it just really really hydrates the skin it makes it incredibly moisturised and nourished and especially in the winter months when my skin gets particularly dry and just looks dull and drab it just brings life back to my skin. And lastly is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce this one, it's the Amore Fixa Budapest Deep Cleansing Mask. You can use this just as a regular clay mask so you can pop it on after you've cleansed kind of all over the face leave it on for 10-15 minutes and then rinse it off and it will sort of deeply cleanse and deeply detox the skin um, but at the moment I'm using it as sort of an overnight spot treatment which apparently you can do as well um, so literally like I've had a really really bad spot here you can probably see it just about now um, so I've been putting that on kind of overnight and it just kind of 
it drags it out and that it was easier to sort of deal with and it meant that it could then start healing a lot quicker. If you're not in the position to spend sort of £60 on a face mask, which I definitely am not, then I would again say the Sanctuary 5 Minute Thermal Detox Mask. There's no reason why you couldn't leave this on overnight. So that's it for my kind of evening skincare routine. Um, I really, really hope you liked it. I will probably do an updated version in a few months because everything changes quite often in my skincare routine. I'll see you guys soon.